Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with another two box break of 2023 Bowman Draft Baseball. This is Super Jumbo Edition. Random team break number five from jazbeescasebreaks.com. All cards ship four, five, and six are from the same case. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. Thanks to Joe Pizzle, grabbing, last, la, grabbing the last two spots, also getting last spot mojo. Thanks everyone for the late night rally. All 30 teams are in, no combos. Let's do it. Let's roll it. Let's randomize names and teams. Snake eyes, two times, easy. One and two. All right, so we mixed up the names really good there. Michael down to James. And snake eyes, two times for the teams. One and two. We got the Dodgers up top, A's on the bottom. After two, and here's how it shakes out. We got Michael with my Dodgers, Josh with the Twins, Michael with the Pirates, Josh with the Phillies, Steven with the Rockies, Michael with the Angels, Andrew with the Tigers, Matt with the Nationals, and the Brewers, Joe Pizzle with the Blue Jays and the Padres, Michael with the Marlins, Oliver with the White Sox, Matt with the Mariners, Michael with the Rangers, Josh with the uh, Cardinals, Francis with the Red Sox, James with the Orioles, Matt with the Reds, Cody with the Diamondbacks, Francis with the Guardians, Steven with the Giants, Matt with the Royals, Michael with the Rays, Astros, Cubs, Josh with the Braves, David with the Yankees, Greg with the Mets, and James with the Oakland A's. Let's uh, alphabetize by team. All right, nice. So some of our key players that we've been kind of eyeing is obviously your number one overall pick. Paul Skeens for Pittsburgh. Michael has the Pirates. Max Clark with the Tigers. It's Andrew. Wyatt Langford has been a, a big name. Michael with the Rangers. Jacob Wilson, Oakland. James. Uh, Matt Shaw, Cubs. Michael has the Cubs. Colt Emerson for Seattle. It's Matt Lieber with, with, with the Mariners, among others. Those are just some a handful of the... Of the key players there's some other solid names in there as well we're going to pause the video just for a little bit when we come back we're going to see if there's any trades then we'll have the break stick around brb all right folks while people are trading we're going to see which two boxes we're going to do here so we opened up the six box case did the first two boxes and now let's see what the second two boxes are going to be so we'll go one two three for the left two and then four five six for the right side and it's going to be two, left side, and we'll save these for break number six, right? Four, yeah, four, five, and six. All right, so there, I marked those six. No one's trading, let's just go. All right, sounds good. We've selected the two boxes. And let me just print out the list and make it official. TWC trade window closed. So there's the final printout right there. Thank you, everybody. Appreciate you getting in. Good luck. Nice over here. Wow, Rex will trade you some Rex jokes for the Southsiders, Oliver. Uh, how valuable are, are these Rex jokes to you? What's, what are they worth to you, Oliver? Hmm. 
I mean, I can come up with my own, says Oliver. Sorry, Rex. Rex's jokes can be can be uh, maddening. That's just how how non-jokey they are. Jumbo box number one. Let's carefully get these out of these sausage link packs. What they kind of look like. And good luck. Let's see what we got. Wyatt Langford paper, all of those will go to Michael and the Rangers. So we're looking for five autos a box here as well, ladies and gentlemen. There's our first Chrome Paul Skeens. And there's our first autograph. It's a nice one. Matt Shaw. That's Michael Losia with the Cubs. The uh, third, nope, check that. The 13th overall pick. Nice start. Michael P will get the all of the uh, Paul Skeens and the and all the other pirates as well. All card shit. Skeens. And I like these glass cards here, a little bit of a slightly thicker card sock. Bryce Eldridge for the Giants, Stephen on with that. And then we got a Kemp Alderman, 59 out of 125, Aqua Wave. That will be for the fish. That's going to go to Michael L. LA Kings post game show. What else we have on the television here this late at night? Maybe what's on the golf channel here? Girls Junior National Golf. 15 to 14 to 15 category. No. 
Not into that. Let's just go Sports Center. When we got Sean Sullivan, old Sully here, going to the Rocks. That's going to be for Steven. Clark, a Matt Shaw. All these Max Clarks go to Andrew and the Tigers. Some Jackson Bowmeister to 199. The Bowmeister, the Boaster, the Bowmanator. That's for James and the Orioles. Hunter Holland, 198 out of 499. Cincinnati Reds, Matt Lieber. And for the Dodgers, Kendall George. Nice on-card autograph for the boys in blue. Michael P. with that one. Three ninety two out of four ninety Uh, Colt Emerson's will go to Matt Lieber and the Seattle Mariners. And we've got an Ethan O'Donnell, 124 out of 250, Matt in Cincinnati. We're on Cincinnati. All these Jacob Wilsons will head out to James and the A's. And we got a Spencer Nivens, Royals. That's going to go to Matt in Kansas City. Joe Pizzle's uh, son's on TV. Bradley Beal is back. Let's see how they do. Could be scary.
If they're losing. They're down by four with 30 seconds left. Oh, that's a good pass. Good steal. Oh, no. Wow. They beat them by four. Wasting a 34-point effort by Booker. 27 points from Durant. Yeah, well, what's, what happened there, Joe Pizzle? I guess basketball. My Lakers almost lost to the Spurs tonight, so there, there's that. I guess any given game. All right, so we got a Jason uh, Savakul, 89 out of 99. For St. Louis, that's going to go to Josh. Chemistry it takes time. There's a uh, Christian Apoor, 261 out of 499. Some paper for the White Sox. That's for Oliver. Oh, there you go. I was going to say we should have one more autograph, and there it was. And it's going to be uh, the very noble Meyer. Blue Wave autograph. That's going to be for Michael L. and the Marlins. 64 out of 150. Your 10th overall pick. Very nice. I wonder if uh, <laughs> how many disingenuous breakers are out there and be like, oh my God, Brady! Brady House for the Nationals. <laughs> I might do that. If I get a Brady House autograph, like a like a nice Brady House autograph, we're gonna put it on our Instagram, social media, Twitter. We'll do a YouTube short for it. Email blast it out. Monster Brady. You know, yeah, we hit, we, we hit Brady. Brady super, what? Wait till the end. You won't believe the Brady that we pulled for the Nationals. And it would, Tom Brady would technically go to the Nationals. Not gonna believe this fire Brady that we pulled. All right, just a quick little not it's not it's not a quick break, but it's just a two box break. So here comes the last two here. Pizzle Rex is wondering if you ever uh, have purchased one of these boxes, hobby or jumbo. And open any of these yourself. I feel like a jumbo box is like jumbo boxes are pretty pricey. I don't know how much how much your hobby boxes run. I 
forget. There was this one crazy. It was the it was the Dansby Swanson year, and I want to say it was like the day of. I think it was the day of. Bowman draft. I think it was. They 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 like traded. Uh, they traded Dansby that day. The Diamondbacks did. Sort of a weird, it's a weird thing because everyone's like, oh, so Dansby still goes to the Dansby goes to the Braves now, right? And we're like, well, I mean, technically, you know, it still has a Diamondbacks uniform on there. Wow, nice. Did you get anything out of the pack? I want my baby, baby back room. There's Felon and Sellis 10 to four ninety nine. dollars so baby back rooms. Ba ba ba. The times never seem so good. So good, so good. I, I can cry. There's Christian Cale, speaking of Sweet Caroline. Francis with the Boston Red Sox. Like, I used to remember the story behind Sweet Caroline and the Red Sox or something like that. I think it... I, I may have just completely made the story up in my head, but if there's any Red Sox fans out there, let me know. I want to say PA announcer had a friend, Caroline, who was... Uh, had a friend whose name was Caroline and she was battling cancer or something like that. She was a big Red Sox fan and they would play the song in between innings for her. She would go to games, I think. When people got singing it. Did I just completely make that up? Or is that a true story? I don't know. You decide. Fact check. Times never seem so good. I've been in crime. Why did Neil Diamond in my in my household growing up? Parents were Neil Diamond fans. A lot of I listen to Neil Diamond on road trips. It's like the Grand Canyon. So. All right. And a blue chrome Paul Skeens. Pirates. Michael P. with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Popping a Paul. Ninety three out of one fifty. Your number one overall pick. Touted by Baseball America's best college starting pitcher since two thousand nine. Who was that pitcher in two thousand nine? You think? There you go, Michael. Congrats. Colt Emerson right there. I don't believe that we all know the best is Thomas. Thomas. Well, Thomas needs to get drafted first. Tom, I don't know if Thomas was even born in 2009. Ooh, look at that. Mood ring, Matt Shaw. 
This, this weirdo eats two spoons of honey 12 minutes before every game to get his energy level perfect. What a weirdo. Everyone knows it's supposed to be three spoons. All right, that's going to go to the Cubs. That's for Michael L. And then we got Drew Gilbert to 150. And we got Drew Jones for the Snakes, 159 out of 199. Cody Kennedy with the Diamondbacks. Oh, yeah? Yeah, people should show up with some honey to get signed during spring training. Take bo like giant bottles of bear-shaped honey and have them sign it. Watch that story's not even real. And he's like, I actually hate honey. I don't even know how that got out there, that I even like it. There's Grayson Hit. Cody with the Diamondbacks hit. Wow, a honey off? Joe Pills is going to challenge Matt Shaw to a honey off. Two bottles of honey. No. <laughs> Just try to... You got to make sure... You got to make sure it's not too cold. Otherwise, the, 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 the honey sort of... Crystal, not crystallizes, it's hard. If it crystallizes, so you got to throw that honey away. Some people say you can put it under some warm water, hot water, and try to... Try to revive that, but... Can you be allergic to honey? I thought, I, I mean, what is he, a baby? He's not a baby. I thought babies were allergic to honey. But not, not, not baseball player, man. I refuse to believe that. And we got a Jacob Gonzalez glass for the White Sox. That's going to be for that's your 15th overall pick going to Oliver in the White Sox. And Levi Wells, Lunar. It's going to go to the Oriole. That's for James. That's to 125. I guess there is allergies to everything. Honey, though? I've never heard of a honey allergy. Although one of my high school buddies... Um, well, still a buddy now. Uh, allergic to avocados. Which I thought was an odd allergy. And I, and I was like, man, I love avocados. How do you live without them? He's like, I wouldn't know because I get sick every time I eat an avocado. Uh, so I think they're terrible. And it's like, oh, that makes sense. Your experience is far different from mine. All right, we got a Zach Thornton, 32 out of 99. There's a Jacob Wilson for the A's as well. I don't know what the severity, I think he has to ingest it. I don't even know if he's actually been tested for it, but he has experimented enough with it. You know, where he's like, oh, I had guacamole. I got sick. Maybe it was something else than guac. And then he, like, eventually it got to just a raw avocado. And he was like, yeah, all right. So I just can't. Vomiting. Hey, there's Ralphie Velasquez for Francis and the Guardians. He's a local boy, I think. That's what Michael was telling me earlier. Let's look at the back of the baseball card. San Pedro, California. Local guy.
Nice. Francis, Guardians. Cleveland, this is for you. Daddy's going to kill Ralphie. Hmm. Is he? Uh, it, it says he passed on a scholarship to Arizona State. Wow, and from the same high school that produced fellow first-round pick Nick Prado and Hank Conger. Unless he passed on that passing on the scholarship and actually went to college. Got a cold Emerson. Speaking of Arizona State, Have we talked about grass clippings in uh, in Arizona? So it's a little north of the Arizona State campus. North, north, north of the 202, off of Mill Avenue. There's, there's a little old golf course called Rolling Hills that they converted into an executive course, and they claim it's the first night golf course in Arizona, which I thought was a, which I thought was crazy, but they're, they're making this statement. Arizona's first lighted golf course. Kind of cool. I guess they're pretty, they're accepting uh, bookings 14 days in advance. So yeah, I feel like a couple of buddies found this kind of aging golf course and then and like bought it and then got some investments and got some you know, got like an architect and so-and-so to, to kind of redo it, clean it up a little bit, build some new facilities, use some of the existing facilities and put some lights up and they've got Arizona's first lighted golf course, allegedly. We've got a Max Clark and a Luke uh, Shilger. Schliger, Schli Schl Schilger, Schliger, Schilger, Schliger, Sigler, 39 out of 250, Luke, for the Giants, that's going to be for Steven. I just thought in, in I, and I don't think, I'm not sure if Las Vegas has too many, you know, kind of nicer lighted, you would think with the heat out there that there'd be more night golf. That'd be a market for it. A place like Phoenix. All right, gang, we're all, I think we have one, two, three, four, there's our five autographs. Let's try to look for some color. There is some color at the bottom. Good luck, everybody. Thanks for getting in. Nice little late night rally. There's a Matt Shaw. There's some glass, Noble Meyer, and a Carson Roccaforte, 69, nice. Out of 75, going to the Royals, that'll be for Matt L., 
Noble Meyer going to Miami. That's for Michael L. The Noble Meyer. And of course, the Matt Shaw will be going to Michael. I appreciate it, Joe. I wish we had some of this send you, man, but I appreciate you getting in. All right. Now, Paul Skeens is pretty nice. Noble Meyer, Kendall George. We start off with Matt Shaw. Not a bad break at all. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us, everybody. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.